Hello, James O'Neill, back with another Columbia Credit Union Remodeled Homes Tour Virtual Edition. And also, you may have seen this house in person. I'm in the middle of Orchards Brush Prairie area. I'm with Dave Milimacki with Renew Creations. And um, Dave, I gotta tell you, this is another example when I walked in and you kind of told me where the wall used to be and, and how much you've opened it up by just really a couple hundred square feet. Um, you really transformed this house where uh, the, the, your clients like to entertain, they like to have gatherings, um, it looks like they love to have garden parties. Um, but it, it's another example of just a couple hundred square feet, but it looks about like a thousand square feet. I mean, how, how do you create that? Yeah, well, it's certainly nowhere near a thousand square feet, but this was a home that was built by one of the good production builders that we have in this county, probably 15 years ago or so. It's a, one of their standard floor plans that worked reasonably well for the folks, but because they entertain a lot, they wanted to expand their, their living space. The way that we capitalize on a small amount of square footage is, in this case, we took out a number of walls, opened up the space. There's a hurricane big beam that carries through here that you can't see, but it was one of the one of the features of this project that was a brainstorm on our design team's part. By opening up and adding a lot of glass in the outside walls, it just brings the outside in mm -hmm. and, and we're able to really capitalize on some nice space and it, it really opened up and functions great for the people. By knocking out those walls, you really created more of a seating area. You were able to, looks like, put in a very large slab on this island so they yes. can't you know because they like apparently if they like to host gatherings they like to cook they so do. large island that's good you haven't seen the pantry yet but inside there we've got a three-sided butcher block countertop that allows them to almost have nearly a second kitchen in there they've got a beautiful gourmet kitchen that functions really well for them not only that but we'll see when we step outside later on we've got a way to serve right through that window uh, guests who are out in the outdoor entertaining area. Yeah, and I think just, uh, and you'll see this in the next shot, but this this beautiful door um, leading out to the outside, the, the backyard here is just gorgeous to look at. It sure is. Yeah. You know, Dave, with the amount of projects Renew Creations does on a, on a yearly basis, there's going to be setbacks. Oh, yeah. So why don't you give us a couple examples um, on some of the setbacks you may come across with maybe this project and others? Well, that subject, James, this year in particular has been really difficult when it comes to sourcing our materials and getting them on site on time. Uh, it seems that almost on an increasing level, it's every week there's a new crisis of something that's not available and those ovens right there are an example of it. Uh, you've probably heard that appliances can be tough to get and of course we, we knew that going in and we do know that going into every project that we start. We order materials as soon as possible. Well in this case they ordered these ovens and were told that they wouldn't be in for many months, like not till well after this project was finished. So. What the owners chose to do is they actually purchased and paid for three sets of ovens, not knowing which one may or may not be available. Um, the first set came in, it was available and it would have fit in this hole, but it was not what they wanted. Um, this set was actually the second set to come in and it was the exact model that they wanted but it, it arrived just in time for us to put it in the hole and finish things up on a timely basis. Um, it matches all the rest of the appliances in the home and it's exactly what we wanted. Fortunately, it went our way in that case. Um, it doesn't always. We, we have projects going right now. In fact, I've got a, a shop building finishing up where we have five huge garage doors that have been on order for several months. Mm -hmm. And I just got the good news the other day that they are going to be in just in time for us to wrap that project up. But staying on top of our orders, getting them in in a timely way is crucial. I mean, this past year, I mean, it's, it's challenging. And I think that goes back to having that relationship with your client 
them having the trust in you guys or whatever remodel that are the use, you know, mm -hmm. contractors, but having that open line of communication and trust. Absolutely. It, it's so important, especially this last like, year. We've got to be open and honest with each other about what is happening around us. And there are plenty of things to work around yeah. in our economy right now. Yeah, that's great. So Dave, uh, with every remodel, homeowners want to update, update the look. Sure. Um, so why don't you talk to us a little bit about you know the flooring, the cabinets, and, and some of the updates that you did with the homeowner? By all means. Well, of course, we just talked about the space and how reconfiguring the space makes this makes the area so much better to live in. But along with that is all of the selections, and there's this always. We have the styles that come and go with colors, textures, materials, but we also have the people's personal preference. And there's got to be this blend between what's in style today and what do people really like. So if you look at these cabinets, they are a stained cabinet, a dark wood that is gorgeous and rather timeless as well. We've also got the, the dark grays in the tile which came from contract furnishings mark and as we go i mean we can walk into this next room we've got carpeting transition in this floor also came from contract furnishings mm -hmm. and then this tile fireplace surround you know i was i'm looking at this mantle this is uh this is not your normal cedar wood no yeah no, what, this, what, are, what is this mantle this is a very unique mantle this piece of wood actually was resting on the bottom of the Columbia River for 75 years before it was pulled out and milled to, to come to this fireplace. 75 years yeah. in the Columbia River, now a mantle. Yes, in so, fact, take a look at these growth rings on here. They're no more than a sixteenth of an inch a year that this tree grew. How do you, how do you get this? How do you come across this? I can't tell you our secrets, James. <laughs> I can keep secrets. I, I, Dave, I tell you, I mean, last year you had a mantle from parts of a helicopter. Now sure. you got a mantle from something that was under, you know, in the Columbia River for 75 years. I mean, I, that's look what at, I love about... Look at the black stain on this thing, right oh in, the, in the heart of it. It's just, I mean, it is a gorgeous piece of wood. I think one of the fantastic things I always come across with these remodels are just the creative ideas that everybody with the BIA comes across with. And I mean, just this is just so unique, so so cool. It is, it was one of the key pieces of this project. Um, not only is it the mantle itself, but these shelves are also out of the same log. We just put just enough finish to make them fit the space, but we also kept them rustic enough that they're very unique. And you know what? Right next to the 75-year-old wood, we got a record player. Probably from 70. I mean, that is cool. We got a record player. You I think up. we need to play that a little later. I love it. I love seeing the record player. We also have these little wear marks from stuff that was down in the bottom of the river, chains or whatever it was, wearing against that log. It's really cool to look at the history. And uh, like we were talking earlier, this is just a little piece of Clark County that stretches back a long, long ways. You can't put a price on that. I mean, that's just awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Babe, babe, the sun, the sun is blinding. Don't worry, James, we've got it covered. Look at that. Oh, this is, uh, this is nice, heavy duty. And as we walk to the new undercover area, you don't You're, get wet. That's right. This thing works summer and winter. In the summer, it keeps the blazing sun from the inside of the house. In the winter time, we can walk all the way from the house to the living space out here. Not a rain. I won't mess my hair up. That's right. Yeah, your hair will yeah. stay perfect. That's good. So, Dave, your clients—they they love to have gatherings. Yeah. Um, they have a very inviting backyard. But if you're going to entertain in the Pacific Northwest, you need a cover in the backyard, and this is beautiful. Yeah, I love absolutely. It. Yeah, we. We built this for them exactly for that purpose. It's uh, three, even four seasons a year they can sit out here. They're out of the weather, yet the sun is right there as well when you want it. We've got the retractable awning that keeps you dry 
wet or shine. What more do you need? We have a couple of heaters here for the really cold days. Don't need them today, all year round. This is a perfect place to barbecue, eat, entertain, or just relax if you've spent a day in the garden working. Do some gardening, play a little bocce. You bet. We're good. Dave, thank you. Hey, thanks for coming out, James. <laughs> Another great project. Uh, I, your clients, make sure you extend a thank you for them letting us in their home. We sure will. Um, the people that see this virtually or in person, yeah. they're going to be impressed. I was noticing this. This looks like one of those uh, take takeout windows, like oh, a food yeah. order window. Oh, it is. Oh, it is a takeout window. Hey, uh, any coffee? Oh yeah. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. She looks familiar. I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right. Thank you.